Good morning, everybody. I'm a professional now. <laughs> Good morning. So even though, right, we've been doing this Zoom for well over a year now, it is still always weird for me to talk to a computer, but I am so grateful and blessed that you are all out there um, staying, stay in the course. Um, so it helps me to be silly every once in a while. <sighs> all right, so today we're gonna play with um, shoulders, core, and then the rest of the body as we often do. We're gonna start laying down with our knees bent, but I want you to have a strap near you so that we can grab hold of that when we're ready. So start by just coming down onto your backs and just check it out, right? Always, always just check it out. And I wanna start with the knees bent just so that the lower back in particular can relax and you can get a sense of where your back body is um, on the floor. So start real easy, your feet, maybe your feet are wide and your knees are, are curled into the center so that you can relax the legs. Your palms maybe face up alongside your shoulders, roll back and down just a little bit, but then relax. So I don't want you to super engage just yet. And then feel your breath. Right, and, and notice that the breath is almost like the key to open this door of centering the body. You know, no matter what is happening in life, whether it is yoga or um, a tense situation, if we can take a moment to step back and breathe, Right, that causes us not only to oxygenate the brain so we can think clear, but it also helps center our body so that we come back to the present moment where whatever is happening, we can handle. So notice your breath. Maybe you're taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. Maybe you're letting it out through nose or maybe mouth. Sometimes I notice when I exhale through my mouth, the body relaxes more, the little less controlled breath. And then start to relax the jaw. Breathe. And feel your feet on the mat. What do you feel? What don't you feel? Can you make out all the toes or is it just kind of one long line of toes? Can you feel the inside and the outside of the feet? Can you feel the temperature of the air or the fan or whatever it is that's near you on the surface of your feet? Can you feel the temperature? And notice that as we focus on the feet, we're not thinking about tomorrow. As we focus on the legs or the belly or the breath, we continue to bring ourselves into present moment. And then separate the knees if they were turned in towards center and let your legs be hips width apart. Bring the right knee toward chest and just squeeze it in. You can hold top of shin or behind the knee, either one of those. And then your other foot stays on the floor as you straighten your right leg up to the ceiling, maybe point your toes and then flex as you bend the knee. Good, point your toes as you straighten the leg, 
Flex your foot as you bend your knee. Good, three more right here, point. And flex, good, point it up. And flex, good, one more, big point. Big flex, draw that knee comfortably in toward your chest and then unround your lower back. So just a neutral spine, which means you're gonna press your sacrum down. Your knees, chances are your knees gonna move away from your chest a little bit. Hold on to that knee and straighten your left leg down to the floor. Big deep breath. So we're keeping a tiny space behind the lower back so that we have neutral spine as opposed to flat spine. We're gonna come back, come to flat spine in a minute. And then with your hands behind your knee, I want you to push your knee away as far as you can. Your arms are gonna go straight. Your head stays on the floor. You're just pressing that leg away as much as you can without the fingers separating. Little stretch in the shoulders and in the neck. And then draw it back toward chest. Good, one more here. Just press it away as if your right foot is pushing against the wall. And release, bring it in. And straighten the leg all the way down, all the way down. And maybe feel a difference one side to the other from something that simple. Bend both knees, both feet on the floor. Bring your left knee to your chest. And just draw it in for starters, holding it where it feels comfortable for you. And notice the closer that knee comes in toward chest, the more the back rounds. And then move the knee away or create a little bit of space behind your low back so that you've got a little, it's not quite as deep. Keep that space, both hips pressing down or both sides of the hips pressing down. And straighten the leg as you point. Ooh, tight. And bend. Good, straighten the toes, straighten the leg, flex your foot, bend your knee. Good, three more. And exhale. Good, two more. Reach, really point, stretch and flex. Last one here, reach and point. Flex and bend. And then push the knee away from you until the arms are straight, head stays down. Straight in your uh, right leg to the floor and reach. Big deep breath, push, 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 and draw the knee in toward chest. Good, last one. Push nice and strong. And exhale, bring it into chest and straighten that leg all the way down to the floor. Bend both knees, both feet on the floor. And all I want you to do here is as you exhale, low belly. So low belly I define as pubic bone to belly button, low belly, right? We're gonna draw that down to the floor and we're gonna see if we can engage the pelvic floor muscles a little. It's kind of tricky. Don't worry about the pelvic floor if you can't, but, and then inhale, release it. On your exhale, pelvic floor and low belly. You're gonna feel your back flatten a little more toward the floor, maybe not all the way. Good, big inhale, one more here. Exhale, pelvic floor muscles draw up, low belly squeezes to the floor and release. Take the legs to 90 degrees. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just take your thumbs under your sacrum just for a little extra low back support. Keep a tiny space in your lower back. I want you to take a big inhale here. Exhale, pelvic floor, low belly. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, pelvic floor engages, low belly. Good, take both legs up to the ceiling. So we're adding on, adding on, adding on. If taking the legs straight up is too much, hamstrings aren't awake enough, keep as much bend in your knees as you need to. All right, here we go. Inhale first. Exhale, pelvic floor, low belly. Good, inhale. Exhale, pelvic floor, low belly. Keep going, keep going. 
and hold here. Good. Just bend your knees, bring your knees to chest. Just take a little moment to relax. All right, so here's where the work is gonna come in. You're gonna take the legs up. Your hands can be underneath your sacrum if that helps you. If you don't need it, hold on to the sides of your yoga mat instead. I want you to draw your shoulders down to the floor. So notice how they can round up, especially if we're straining, right? I want you to press them into the floor. Flex your feet a little, don't over flex. So you're gonna do the same thing. One, you're gonna stay here, inhale first, Exhale, engage, low belly, and lower your right leg until it's a few inches off the floor. Now, notice, right? You're going to keep breathing, but you're going to press your low belly into the floor. If you can, you're going to draw up a little bit of mula banda, right? Or draw up the pelvic floor muscles. If your left leg needs to be bent, go ahead and bend it. Squeeze low belly. Inhale the leg up and pause. Good, shoulders down to the floor, inhale first. Exhale, engage low belly, press it down on your exhale, lower the left leg a few inches off the floor. Remember, either knee can bend as you need to, hold the low belly deep. So I uh, worked with a, a physical therapist and she said that when we crunch up, we engage the surface muscles um, and potentially disengage the low belly muscles, the deep core muscles. So we're playing with deep core here. You can hold your yoga mat. You can press your shoulders to the floor. Good, inhale, take the leg up. Pause for a second, maybe circle out your ankles. We're gonna do one more both sides. Inhale first. Exhale, squeeze down, lower your right leg, hold. If you're feeling really spunky here, want a little bit more, the arms go overhead, the palms face each other. I'm just tapping my thumbs down. Back of the neck is nice and long. Breathe, keep reaching the low belly in, but keep breathing. Good, inhale it up, release the arms down. If you lifted, pause. Last one, inhale, exhale, lower your left leg, keep that belly squeezing down, take the arms overhead as an option, find your breath, you got this everybody, keep reaching, low back issues, that leg isn't so low or the knees are bent, right, or both legs are straight up until your core gets a little bit stronger. All right, lift up, lower those arms, bend both knees, take them into your chest. Good job, everybody. Lower your feet back to the floor, keep them on the floor, hips width apart, grab your strap, just a little sh shoulder warm up until before we get to a seated stance. All right, so the strap is in your hands, it's roughly shoulder width or a little bit wider. Want you to draw the strap down toward your thighs and then inhale, bring it straight overhead until the backs of the hands are touching the floor or not, right? So you know you, don't overstress the shoulders. Inhale, bring it to your thighs. Exhale, bring it over. And notice what you do, keep going. Notice what you do with your head, your neck, your shoulders as you do a simple, simple warm up here, shoulders moving up and down, our arms moving up and down. You got it, just keep going. This is really easy, but as we do this easier um, exercise, we're gonna allow the shoulders to open up, allow the tight spots to open up. If you have pain, change the width of your hands. Maybe you need to go a little bit wider, Maybe you need to turn the palms in, right? So play with those, always be willing to play. All right, one more. When that strap is overhead, I want you to hold it overhead. Your palms are face up and I just want you to give a little tug on the strap, not super big. You're gonna feel those upper arms engage really quickly. And then straighten both legs, flex both feet, squeeze your cute little behind and breathe. 
On the exhale, draw the low belly down. Yep. Inhale, release the belly, but keep everything else. Exhale, squeeze down. One more, inhale. Exhale, squeeze down. Lift your left leg an inch or two if you can. Lift the hands off the floor a couple of inches if you can. If this is too much, you lower down. Hold, hold, hold. And lower the left leg. Lift the right leg. The arms are lifted a few inches off the floor. I'm pulling on my strap maybe 10, 20%. Big deep breath. Squeeze everything. Lower all your limbs, legs, and arms. Take the arms up to the ceiling. Lower them back down to your side. Release your strap. Bend your knees. Oh yeah, and draw your knees to your chest, turn over to one side and press yourself up. Ah, great fun, great fun was had by all. <laughs> all right, so you don't need your strap right now, so you can set that aside. If you wanna sit up on a blanket to get those hips up a little bit, uh, absolutely do that. But for now, I want you to take your hands behind your uh, behind you just for support. Don't sink down into a little C curve. Keep your chest lifted. Keep the shoulders back. And windshield wiper. Windshield wiper your legs. This is just a really nice, whether you go slow or you go fast, this is just a nice little leg and hip warm up. And it gets your spine moving in that small twist, right? I love it. You know, it just doesn't have to be complicated. It really doesn't. It can be simple. All right. So the next time your knees are over to your left, I'm mirroring here. Let the knees stay. Adjust your left leg. Uh, your knees are over to the right. Did I say right? I said left. So I'm not mirroring. Switch sides for everybody so I can keep my head straight. So your knees are over to the right and adjust your back leg so that it feels comfortable for you, okay? So you're in this kind of wide scissor, one leg external rotation, one leg internal rotation. If anything hurts, cushion, right? Move the leg as much as you need to, especially this back one. And then see if you can sit up nice and tall in this weird twisty sort of pose. Take your right hand behind you. And inhale and reach the left arm all the way up, twist toward the right, pause, maybe you tap your finger, and then inhale and reach the other way. Good, four more right here. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, reach back. Three more, take it up. Use your breath, everybody, take it back. Two more. All the way up, feel the waist work, right? The belly work and back. Last one, take it up. And take it back. Good, this time you're gonna inhale both arms and twist to your right. It's gonna, you're gonna feel your waist and then you're gonna twist to your left. And twist right. And twist left. Good, two more, inhale, exhale. Baby, Betty, maybe straighten that leg and twist and twist, woo, good. Last one, inhale and exhale. And then twist to your right. Everybody let both hands come down to the floor. Remember this back leg, back hip, right? Always adjust that if you're real in some discomfort there. And then walk your hands forward. You're leaning over your right leg and you're just going to see how low you want to go. Just breathe. Deep breath. Nice little twist here. And then walk your hands back, press your body up. 
turn your torso back to center and start over. So legs are separated from each other. Windshield wiper those legs. Yep. Breathe. And let the knees go over to your left. Adjust your back leg so that there is no pain, right? Especially hip issues, you might have a block under that back knee or a blanket under the back knee, or for some of you, it's further back, right? So really, truly play. Everybody's bodies are built different. All right, one hand behind, inhale the back arm up, reach it over, maybe tap fingers and take it back. Good, inhale and exhale. Think shoulders, right? Think range of motion. Yep, and back two more right here. Breathe and back. Last one, reach, reach, reach and back. And then take both arms up and just twist, right? This is harder and twist back. And you can even do cactus arms here. That might feel better. And twist. And twist. You got it. Good. Two more rounds. And release. Good. Last one. Twist. And back. And then take it forward. Hands hit the ground. You settle yourself where those legs and hips feel good. And walk yourself out. Nice little twist here, should feel good. Now coming all the way to the floor might not be an option for you. Maybe you're here on elbows, maybe you're lifted even more. Just check it out, how's it feel? Big deep breath. There you go. And then walk the hands up. Lift up that spine, take your body center, release your legs and take them back out in front of you. You can go a little wide here. I like to dig my heels into the floor so that I've got nice uh, foundation here where I can drag those heels back isometrically and lift the chest. Okay, if this does, you wanna sit more easy pose, you can do that, right? We give ourselves permission for a little bit of of chill every now and then. All right, arms come out. Draw the shoulders back. So already you've gotten wider. Take the arms out to the side. See where your stretch is. And then come center. Open up. And center. Good. Isometrically pull those heels back. So we got the legs engaged. And open. And stretch. Good. Open. And stretch, last one, open up big wide, Woo. and forward, and then bend your arms like you're holding a ball between those arms. I want you to pull your elbows back, back, back. I'll straighten my legs so maybe you can see better. So you're pulling back, but you're lifting your chest forward. So super engagement of the back body, right? All right, and then pull forward and squeeze back. Good, pull it forward. Squeeze it back. When you reach forward, don't overreach. And back, good, one more. Pull back, hold right here. I'm gonna straighten legs again, just so you can see my legs work or my arms work. I want you to take them out to the side. Squeeze and then take them center and open. Really working the back body here, right? Open, you can do whatever you want to your legs. If you're still here, that keeps those legs engaged. And open, squeeze, keep the elbows tight to your body. Don't let the elbows go out. Good, last one, hold open, reach as if you're trying to press your hands to a back wall. Lift your chest, pull the shoulders back and release it. Oh yeah, shake it out. A little bit of work, right? Can really do a lot. All right, let's release that. Come to table pose. Whew. Have your blocks near you. We're gonna use one block for now. And you're gonna play. I like for, for play time, right? Not worrying about balancing table. I like to have my knees wider. Just, I don't know, it's just easier on my hips. 
Usually my feet will come to the middle. My knees will go wider. See how that is for you. If you like it more neutral, then stay neutral. All right, so start with a couple little cats and cows. <sighs> easy, easy, right? Where are you moving from? What are you feeling or not feeling, right? Is there, are there places in your back that don't really feel like they're moving a whole lot? And if there is, maybe you stay there for a moment and go, where is that? A lot of times it is the back, it's the part of our backs right between the shoulder blades that start to lose movement. Good, last one. Neutral spine. Take your left hand center of the mat. You're gonna grab your block with your right hand and you're gonna set it back here on your sacrum. You're gonna switch hands. You're gonna reach back, grab your block, put it on the floor. Circle it around five times. Set it and forget it. No, <laughs> right. bring it behind. Shoulder work here. It seems simple, but a lot of times when we start to lose range of motion, getting that arm back in behind can be tricky. So maybe go a little slower and go, what's actually happening here? As I use my right hand to pull it back and I use my left hand to grab it forward. One more circle here. Hopefully that was about five because I forgot to count. <laughs> and that block is down on the floor. Pause here. Switch sides. Block in your left hand, reach it behind you. Maybe a little tone to the belly here, by the way. There's one. Swing it back. There's two. Good, swing it back. I've been loving these cork blocks lately, by the way. Um, if you wanna try something different, they are heavier, but uh, they're kind of neat. So there's four. Watch your hand placement. And here's five. Whew. And down, notice what that did to your shoulders. That simple, simple little exercise. Set your block aside. Take your left hand to the right hand corner of your mat and press back into um, press back into that left hand. So big stretch there. That's it. <sighs> Lift up, switch sides, right hand to left corner, lower down and stretch back. And center. All right, plant your hands, squeeze your belly in, flip your toes under. Let's come to downward facing dog, bend one knee and then the other. Let's stretch out those legs, those calf muscles, the Achilles. Maybe you come up on tippy toes and then press the heels closer. They don't have to touch. Good, one more tippy toes and lower. And then look forward, two ways to do this. You can lower knees and step forward right leg, or you can just step forward without lowering the knees first, whatever feels good to you. Once your right leg is forward, grab a hold of your blocks. Put your hands on your blocks. Let's stretch out left leg. Find your breath, everybody. Notice, Ooh, yeah. Nice little stretch, nice engagement of the left side glute and hip so that we keep that active. Take your hands to your knee, lift up, lift up your chest, take the left arm up, breathe. Now a slight tuck of your pelvis, like really slight, just draw that low belly in, lean over to your right, take it into a small side bend. That's it, breathe. And center, release it, hands come to your block, simple switch. Simple switch, today is simple. Today's the easy button. <laughs> Find your lunge to start. Engage the back hip and glutes. Open up your shoulders, take your hands to your knee, pause, make sure your pose is wide enough always, right? Not too wide, but not too narrow. Bring a nice tuck of that pelvis. You can just see that you can feel it. It's like somebody takes your belly 
and presses it back in toward the spine. Take the right arm up, soften the left shoulder and take it over to the side. You got it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze that low belly. Take the arms up, release your hands to your blocks, switch sides again. So this one just a little bit different. See what you think. Um, I'm moving my block out of the way. You probably will too. You're gonna walk your right foot out to the side. I've actually walked mine off my mat and I've turned my toes out a little bit. Yeah, so same thing or similar thing. You're gonna press your hand into your block. You're gonna tuck your pelvis. You should feel a bigger stretch on that left leg. You're gonna take the left arm up, keep the strong tuck and tilt over that right leg. Whoo, right? So deeper still into psoas, press into that strong foot, right? That, that uh, right foot that's pressing into the floor, big stretch of your belly and release. Hand comes to your blocks. Just slide that leg back, switch sides, left foot forward. So just a little different stretch of that psoas. You're gonna walk your left foot out to the side and turn the toes out. So toes out, knee out. And then left hand to left knee, push up, tuck in. Oh, I don't know about you, but big difference for some reason that just changes that whole big stretch. The right arm goes up, nice stabilization. I like to lean my elbow right on my thigh. That gives me a little bit more steadiness as I stretch through the psoas and the front hip flexors. Big deep breath. Yeah, we got this. Take the arm up, bring it back to your blocks. Slide that leg back. Lower your blocks to second level and make a little kind of triangle pattern with them. So the top ends of your blocks are, they don't have to touch, but they're towards each other. And then both elbows, both forearms to the blocks, walk your knees back and stretch down. Again, shoulder stretch, right? So we're just doing a little back and forth legs and then shoulders. Deep breath, everybody. And press up. Those arms are right where they are. Make sure your blocks feel steady. You can be at high blocks or you can be at low blocks. Your elbows are back on your blocks. Your hands are interlaced. Step back one leg, squeeze the tarnation out of your belly. Take the other leg back and find an elbow plank here. Woo. If your blocks don't feel steady, make sure they're on the lowest setting. So you have a wider base here. <sighs> squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in that belly. Knees down, option, right? We know that. Woo. Come on, everybody. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower one knee, lower the other knee. Yeah. Set your blocks back to the front of your mat. Step forward with your right leg. We got it. We got it. All right, you're in your lunge. If you can lift your left knee, you're gonna take those blocks back up at the high level. We're doing tons of warm up here and straighten your front leg. Straighten is relative. We know this, right? If your hamstrings are really tight, you're going to have more bend. If being up in the higher lunge and higher pyramid pose is too much, you take your bottom knee down and you straighten the front leg there. No strain. Now, if that knee is up, I want you to scissor the upper inner thighs towards each other. And notice how that changes things a little bit, right? As we lower that torso over the front leg, we're getting tons and tons of length. Big deep breath. Bend your front knee 
and switch sides. If your knee is down, just take one leg back, take the other one forward. If your knee was up, you just switch from one side to the other. Starting in this nice little lunge, blocks or wherever is comfortable for you. Straight in the front leg, scissor the inner thighs. Notice how that changes it. Big deep breath. Nice length through your torso, everyone. Good, bend your front knee. You're gonna come to standing. So if your knee is down, it might be easier to step back. Move your blocks, down dog, right? And then walk your hands all the way back. And come on up. Oh, shake it out, everybody. Good. And just notice, notice how you're feeling. Notice the shoulders, right? Notice the legs. So from a balance perspective, we're gonna start at the, st the top of our mat, the front of our mat. I don't know that you need to be near a wall, but you know, maybe up to you. Just step back with your right leg into a short lunge. So not super long. And if you wanna plant your back foot, you're welcome to. Otherwise you're gonna stay on the ball mound. Your hands come to your hips. And the balance part comes here. I want you to find a focus point and simply straighten your front leg. It seems easy, it's not really. And then bend it and straighten it, squeeze and bend it. So balance work here as we change the legs as we move, make sure your stance is wide enough and you're good, Betty, right? So that you don't feel like you're on a tightrope and straighten good last one bend and straighten hold the straight leg squeeze the inner thighs towards each other maybe take the arms up breathe bend your front leg arms are up think warrior pose except that your foot is where your foot is it's either turned or it's straight and then lift up Good, exhale, hands come down to the floor. You're gonna switch sides. So down dog, shake it out. Step forward with your right leg. Blocks are a nice transition point here, right? If you wanna take your uh, hands on your blocks to lift up, hands to knees, lift up. Here you are in that lunge again. And it's just a little shorter lunge than your normal. Hands come to hips. And here we are again, I want you to find your focus point. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Here we go, straighten and bend. And straighten, go slow and bend. Straighten, squeeze your belly and bend it to more. Straighten, I know, right? Funny how this little simple move can be tricky. And bend, last one, straight and hold. Squeeze the back glutes, squeeze the legs towards each other. Take the arms up, find your breath. Bend your front leg. Woo. You got it. Exhale, hands come down to your blocks. Good, maybe lower the blocks to the lowest level. That way they're nice and stable. Step back, downward facing dog. Just shake it out and breathe. If you need a child's pose, you always can take that child's pose. You know that, right? All right, look through your blocks when you're ready and step forward with your left leg again. Find your breath, squeeze your belly. You're gonna grab one block. Now, you can take knee down as well, okay? So if you would rather do knee down, a little bit more stable, go right ahead and do that. It's awesome, awesome. So if your knee is down, I'll demo both ways. You're gonna lift up, you're gonna grab the block. If your left foot is forward, you're grabbing the block with your 
right hand. You're going to take it up overhead. Bend your elbow. See if you can reach back and take it forward. Your left foot forward, your block's in your right hand. You're taking it up, bending your elbow, lift that chest. See if you can get that block into your other hand. Maybe, maybe not, lower it down. If you can, if this is like funky, funky, do it without the block. So you're here, here you're reaching back to grab the imaginary block. Now, if you're up high, right? A little trickier, so you're here. You're taking it up, bend, find it, <laughs> and lower. Take it up, bend. Where is it? There it is, and lower, last one. Take it up, bend, find it, cow face arms, and lower. Good. You're going to switch sides, simple, simple. You can either step back and forward, however it makes sense to you. Scissor the legs, your right foot's forward, your left hand is on your block or no block because you don't really want to do that, right? But take it up. Here we go. You're going to lift up, bend, whoops, reach back. I can't find this side. Where did it go? And down. Good, lift up. If you're not using your block, don't worry about it, right? Just use your arms and down. Whoops, lift up. Big range of motion here, right? It's why is it trickier one side than the other? I'm gonna lose that big old cork block. <laughs> and one more. Reach back and get it and take it down. So much for that, right? Good, come on back down. Step back to downward facing dog, a little booger block. Lower down to your knees. Find your breath. Ooh, maybe circle it out. You got it. Good. Plant the hands on your blocks. Flip your toes under, down dog. Use your breath here. Step forward, left leg. This time pyramid pose for real, short in your stance, your back foot turns out to the side a little bit, your hips level out. You can be way up high on your blocks or you can be down as low as you would like. Find your breath. Scissor the legs, everybody. Pyramid pose can be super tricky. Now from this low stance, I want you to walk your hands to your hips and lift your chest. Squeeze the legs together. So a couple options with pyramid, right? Front leg relatively straight, back leg relatively straight. One, you're here. Two, your hands are on your blocks. Three, the hands come behind you and I want you to grab opposite elbows. There's this one where you can put the wrists together my wrists never have done that. They're never gonna. Your fingertips are pointed up. I don't like that. So if you know it and you can do it, awesome. Go for it. Otherwise, elbows to hands. Lift your chest. Scissor your legs. Tilt forward. Now, you're halfway down. I want you to draw the shoulders away from your chest. Furthermore, furthermore, if you need your blocks instead, go there. Breathe. If you're still stable, release the hands interlace and reach the arms up. Big deep breath. Check the shoulders, make sure they're reaching back instead of forward. Release your hands, your block should be there. Press in, step back with your left leg, step forward with your right leg. Back toes are slightly pointed out, front toes are straight ahead. The hips level out, the belly tones. Walk your hands up to your hips. Lift your chest, squeeze it all together, right? So you start to realize how those inner thighs, drawing those together really helps to fire up and stabilize the legs right to the center line. 
Inhale, reach up. Big deep breath. As you exhale, take the hands behind you. Remember, this is optional. If you feel a little unsteady here in Pyramid, hands stay at hips or work down toward the blocks. Open up your shoulders. Squeeze your belly. Start to tilt forward. Find your still point, everybody. And breathe. If your hamstrings are super tight, maybe you're bending that front leg a little bit. Right, but don't let your low back round. See if you can keep it neutral. So one, you're here. Two, you're doing the prayer hands thing that I can't do. Three, you're gonna release the hands. Maybe you change the interlace and lift up and breathe. You got it. And release the hands, take them to your blocks. Step back to down dog, even if it's a short one. Breathe, step your hands off your blocks and walk them back to your feet. Open up your shoulders, bend your knees, hands to knees. Woo, come on up, Woohoo! shake it out. Good. Set the blocks aside for now, grab your strap. Shoulder work, shoulder work, shoulder work. <sighs> right, we know if you truly, you know this, if you're on your computer a bunch, if that's your work these days, right? If you're on your phone, even worse, because your head's down while you're texting, terrible, right? We gotta, we gotta get that to lessen. We've got to get that. So simple thing here. You're just going to take the strap around your back. I just took my loop out. Um, so I didn't have a big loop. So I have more strap. You're going to stand nice, easy. Strap is even on either side. We're going to do an easier version of this. It's right where your uh, shoulder blades are or where your bra strap might be. Take one loop over your Shoulder, take the other loop over your shoulder, same side, right? Reach them back, make sure there's no twists. Reach back behind you, find your loop or find your straps, crisscross at the back and pull down. Just pull down. Find your breath. This should feel really nice. If you get tingling or funky feelings down the arms, chances are you're pressing into the brachial complex here. A lot of nerves go through here. So move, adjust your strap either further out, further in, just find that. And if it's still tingly, don't pull so tight. So just pull straight down and then fire up your legs. So pretend you get a block there. Squeeze the legs in, squeeze the chest shoulders, right? Feel the engagement of your back body. If you can, you're going to hold on to these straps. Find your focus point. Shift into, I'm going to mirror here. So shift into your left leg, lift your right knee. You're still pulling back down on those straps. So notice the difference, right? Breathe. One, you're here. Two, you're tapping in and out. Woo! Three. You're gonna straighten as you point, flex as you bend. Point straight, flex, bend, one more. Point straight, pull down on the strap, flex, bend, and lower. Shake it out. So what we learn is if the spine is lined up, balance is a little bit easier most of the time, right? Because we're not fighting gravity so much. So pull down, open it up, shift into your right, my left, squeeze in through the belly, engage that leg. When you're ready, lift the knee. You might hang out right here. You might tap down and lift up and you're just working on balance. Otherwise, here we go. Point and flex. Good. And point, pull on your straps and flex. One more. Point. And flex, and let go, oh, shake it out. 
Good, one more, just nice, sweet pull open. Maybe you pull more, pull more, pull more. And release. Now that's something you could do several times a day. Set your block or set your strap aside. Grab one of your blocks. We're almost done with this little part. Grab one of your blocks and you're putting it between your legs. It might be second width if that feels terrible. Uh, go single width, right? Because that can be a little bit wide. And then walk your feet in so that you feel pretty even with that block there, right? You might be wide, but it should be there. I want you to do a deep hinge from your hips, but don't let your low back get saggy. Take your hands behind you, interlace. If that's hard on your shoulders, keep them separate, but keep them active. So press back, open up your shoulders, chest. If your body allows, lean forward, knees are still bent. Reach the arms up, separate the palms if you haven't, just the fingers are interlaced, straighten the legs as an option. Breathe, keep reaching those shoulders back as if somebody has your hands and they're reaching those hands up towards ceiling. Bend your knees if they went straight. Lift up from your chest. Squeeze your block and let go. Take your same block, reach it behind you. All I want you to do is squeeze palms to block. I don't know if this is harder because it's cork, because it's heavier, but holy moly, you're not holding your block. You're just squeezing with your palms. A, a, an area of the body not worked much at all is the rear deltoid muscles. So this is your deltoid muscle. You have a front, a medial or middle and a back. Guess what doesn't get worked, right? So here we go. Lift your chest, Woo! roll those shoulders back down. Your feet, your legs are active, but don't have to be crazy. And all I want you to do is simply press back. One, two. Keep your chest tall, four, five, six. Lift your chest, eight, nine, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, whoo, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, and release. Set your block down. Good. Grab your strap, and then we're gonna finish this baby up. You may or may not need your strap. We were doing this earlier with your block. Your strap's over your shoulder. It's there if you need it. So we're gonna simply start. Your right hand reaches up. Bend that arm and pat yourself on the back. Take your left arm out to the side, internal rotation, and then reach it behind you. I like to start with that hand, like reaching all the way across first and then up. Some of you are gonna be able to hold fingers. Some of you are gonna hold strap, right? Some of you are just not gonna worry about either. Just bring that arm where that arm will go. And then kind of notice, right? Head is neutral, one arm reaching up, one arm reaching down, <sighs> belly tone, legs are active. We got it, right? We're just hanging out. As an option, all you're gonna do is take that right elbow that's pointing up toward the ceiling and lean over to the left. <sighs> Breathe, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you can opt out. <laughs> Breathe, take it center. Release top arm first, let it come down. Release the bottom arm, shake it out. I don't know about you, but I have one side different than the other. So I try to honor that. Um, when, when my right arm is up and back, it's super tight here. So I just play, I play there. All right, for you, left arm up, reach it back and behind. Pat yourself on the back, maybe get your head there. Take the right arm out, inner, uh, inner rotate, reach it across first. That's gonna help with your distance. And then walk it up your back any amount and see if your fingers touch. 
Maybe they will, maybe they won't. My hands did not touch each other for probably the first eight years of my yoga practice. And then one day they touched. I was like, wow, ah, what happened? <laughs> it's like, you think I would have won a million dollars. <laughs> and it means nothing. It doesn't really mean anything, but it was just such a, a fun thing. So never give up, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so you're here. One, you're here, you're staying. Two, you're letting go, because that's enough. Three, you're going to lean that left elbow over to the right. Good, strong belly here so you don't dump into your back. And center, top arm releases first. Whew. Bottom arm releases second. Holy gamoli. All right, shake it out, everybody. Just set your strap down. We're going to use it in a moment. All right, inhale, take it up. Exhale all the way down. Downward facing dog, step it back, spread your fingers, always, always, right? Take the moment to get good in your pose so you're not leaning in that outer palm. You're spreading that weight through the hands, through the fingers. I even claw my tips of my fingers in just a little bit. Big, deep breath. How do your shoulders feel here? And I tend to kind of gauge my ears right between my arms so the head's not over dropped or over lifted. I know one of you out there that always lifts that head of yours. <laughs> you might know who you are. And then everybody tiptoes down to knees and release your pose. Oh, come to a seat. Goodness gracious. Right, and just get a sense, how's that feel? Maybe roll the shoulders forward and back, and forward and back, just kind of loosen them up. There you go. So cow face pose. We played with it a little bit, we're playing with it again because it's kind of a neat pose in that it incorporates both the upper body and the hips. The, the bottom part is the hard part for most everybody. You may want to, one, you might want to have your blocks near, okay? So we can demo a whole bunch of things. And then you might want, if you have a blanket, you might take your blanket and fold it into a nice little, like a nice little seat, right? And then sit up on the blanket. So it just depends on your hips. If you're on the blanket, it raises the hips up. It gives those hips a little bit more movement. So play, play, play. All right, straighten your legs, everybody. You're gonna take to the best of your ability, you're gonna cross, and I'm gonna try to mirror here. You're gonna cross your left leg over your right. And then you're gonna lean back if you need to, and you're gonna bend both legs. For some, this is it, right? Knee crosses over knee. You're just gonna see if you can hold that as you lift your chest. And if you can hold that, we'll add the arms. But before we add the arms, let's see where we can go with the pose. And a lot of times it's easier if you just lean back a little bit. So start to walk your feet away from each other. If you know cow face, and you can do it well, just go right to it. You don't have to do all the in-between steps. Maybe your feet are separated, but your knees are staying high up. Then I would probably put a block under the knee and see if I could snug in there. This is also where you can see if my hips were higher, the knees would be a little bit more relaxed. If you're still good, your hips operate in this external rotation really easily. You can bring the feet in closer and drop the knees. If none of this works for you, trust your body. <laughs> Separate the legs as much as you need to. Maybe you're more just cross-legged, right? And that's okay too. That's a, that's a whole different pose that works the hips. Wherever you are is where you are. All right, so you're, I'm mirroring here. So your left leg is on top 
your right arm goes up and it bends to your back. Strap or no strap, by the way. Your left arm outside, internal rotation. It reaches back. You find your fingers or you don't. If you feel strain in your shoulders, undo your hands, right? If you're touching fingers and you feel a strain in your shoulders, it's not worth that. Good, little tone to the lower belly. This is cow face pose. The old yogi somehow saw a cow in this. I, I still don't know. I think the arms or the ears and the knees or the nose or something weird like that. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't get it. I don't see it. <laughs> but just breathe, right? Just breathe. <sighs> some of you are here. Some of you are coming out. Some of you are half here and half out. All of those are good. Everybody else, if this is easy, for some people, this is an easy pose. You're going to lean forward and drop down. Good. If you have leaned forward, lift up. Release top arm first. Release bottom arm. Woo, that's my tight side. Shake it out. Lean back, and I want you to come out the way you came in. You're just going to slide those legs out. You're going to uncross them. You're going to switch sides. You're going to bend the knees. Like I said, maybe it's right here. If you're, because I know several of you with the knee stuff, right? So maybe you're just here and the knees are just barely bent. And you have a block under your knees to help support that. That's awesome, right? We find the ways that it works for our body. So wherever you are, you start to do the whole bend thing. Maybe a block's under the bottom knee. Maybe the knees are going to come down to the floor. Maybe the knees can bend like this, but they're just separated from each other because the hips don't allow for it. Wherever you are, snuggle in. If your right leg is on top, your left arm goes up. Bend it, pat yourself on the back. You've made it this far. Take the right arm out, internal rotation, reach it behind you. Find your hands or not. Slight tone to your belly. Notice, how does it feel in your body? Do you feel pretty even? Are you happy and hanging out here? A little cow face pose. Deep breath. You know, I think the only time we can maybe get ourselves in trouble here is if we just take ourselves too seriously. If we think we should be somewhere that we're not. Um, there was this whole... TED talk about expectation versus experience. And if our expectation is not in line with our experience, we can tend to be disappointed. And so let's take the expectation out. Let's just have the experience of the pose in our body, right? All right. Oh, I forgot this whole thing, right? Here we are. Oh. <laughs> Come on up. While I'm talking, you guys were already there, right? Release the top arm, let it come down. Release the bottom arm. Woo, shake it out. Lean back, come out the way you came in. Woo. Maybe just a simple, easy pose or leg straight just for a second. I want you to roll your shoulders. And then take your right hand to your right shoulder and lift your elbow and take it down. Good, lift and down and then big circle. So lift, big circle. Just three of these. Good, release. Other side, point straight up and down. Straight up and down. And then three circles, big circles, everybody. Loosening up that work we just did and shake it out. Grab one of your blocks as you make your way back down to the floor. Oh. Oh. 
doesn't that feel good? Take your blocks the wide width between your hands and then take the hands up to the shoulder, uh, up to the ceiling. Check your back, check your sacrum, tiny space behind your lower back. And all I want you to do is bend the elbows back down to the floor so that the block is hovering over your high belly, your mid belly, and then press it up and press it down. Now, when you press it down, pull the shoulders down and then release the shoulders, reach the arms up. Elbows back to the floor, press the shoulders as if you were gonna lift your chest off the floor. Release, two more, lift the hands up, elbows stay close to your side body, then pull the shoulders back, your head is neutral. Release, last one, reach up, bend the elbows to your side body, pull the shoulders back. I want you to hold back and just breathe. Think about bridge pose, right? So one, you're here, this is where you stay. I really want you to consciously press the backs of the shoulders and engage your back. Two, final option, simple bridge pose. Breathe. You're pressing back through the shoulders. Your head is neutral. Your hips and glutes are active. It's not even a high bridge. Your block might be resting on your belly. Breathe. Notice the shoulders, right? Pressing back. Good, release the hips to the floor. Release the shoulders, set your block aside. Draw your knees to your chest, everybody. Allow the knees to roll over to your right. Open up your shoulders, cactus arms, and breathe. You can always place a block between the knees or underneath your bottom knee. And maybe shift, if your knees are to the right, maybe you shift the left arm a little bit. Maybe you draw to the right a little to open up the chest just a little more. Nice, release the knees. Come back to your center. Knees toward chest, they go over to the left. Your arms in cactus pose, maybe you're playing with that right arm. Good, release the knees. Bring both knees to your chest. Straighten your left leg super long all the way to the left edge of your yoga mat. Straighten your right leg all the way down to the right edge of your yoga mat. Snuggle out through your hips, find them pretty even, one side to the other, let your feet relax. Take the arms out to your, or down to your sides, palms face up, ideally. If, that, if you're done with that, just place the hands on your belly and breathe. And just notice. So here we are again, soft belly, soft jaw. Legs relax, noticing the breath as it moves in and out. Maybe feeling the temperature of the skin, the temperature of the air moving across any exposed skin.
soften even more. Notice the thoughts that drift in and out. Notice that when you move out of the present moment, when you start thinking about other things, the belly will tense or the breath will shorten. You just remind yourself and come on back. For those of you who would like to stay in Shavasana a whole bunch longer, just stay there. Let my voice be background noise. Those of you ready, go ahead and wiggle your toes and your fingers. And ever so slowly bend your knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Rock the knees over to one side. And then very slowly press up to your seated pose. Hmm. And as you're ready, bring your hands to your heart as we trust our own inner voice. We listen, we move our bodies appropriately, we get healthier inside and out. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Mm, thank you, everybody. Thank you.